My last two blog posts were a little uh, cryptic. And I want to use this video to explain them. The, uh, the first one said, how to feel enlightenment or how to find enlightenment in one sentence. And the second one said, how to find enlightenment with one word. The first one, the sentence one, the one sentence is, when you push away your thoughts, what is left? And what I want to explain on that is, I assume you're sitting at a table or a desk or something. Um, if you can, find a pen or clear a little space out for, your, for this experiment. And uh, take a pen or a pencil or a small object, a salt shaker or something, and place it on, on the clear spot on the table. And for this experiment, we'll just use that object, that pen, uh, to represent a thought that just come into your head. And what you do is just push that away. And the reason I say this is this is kind of what I do when I'm sitting in oneness, is I'll sit out in a beautiful place like this and I'll all my boundaries will disappear and I'll just become completely one with this. And eventually a thought will creep into my head as natural as these things do. And what I visualize myself doing when I catch myself getting caught up in that thought is I, I visualize myself just pushing that thought away. And so take that object, put it in that, that cleared spot on the table there and just push that away and just think about what is left when you push that object away, when you push that thought away. Now a lot of people who are out there who are claiming enlightenment, who come at it from a philosophical side rather than a lived experience. They'll say there's nothing left. There's nothing there. It's emptiness. But I want you to notice something is that when you push the pen away, the thought away, you'll notice the table still remains. The table supported that object that you put on it. In much the same way, when you push your thoughts away, there is an aliveness there, there's an expectation there, there's a vast openness, which they often say is nothingness, but there's a energy aspect to it, there's an aliveness, there's an intelligence there that's waiting for the next thought. And this is what I mean by the fullness, this is almost what I mean by the mystical aspect of it, that intelligence, this before thoughts. It's not that enlightenment is beyond thoughts, beyond something you can explain. It's actually before them. It is the openness that the thoughts arise in. Push your thoughts away for a second. Just look out here, be with it, and push your thoughts away. feel it? Can you feel her? The next post I said was how to find enlightenment with one word. And that one word is this. Listen. Just listen. sounds that you'll hear, but the sounds aren't important, just like the thoughts aren't important. The contents of the sound, the contents of your thoughts are not important. What's important is that space between the sounds, that expectation, that listing. I'm gonna, this shoulder strap was flapping around. I hope it didn't make too much noise. But anyway, the uh, the important part is that space between the sounds that you hear. That expectation, that aliveness, that 
alertness that, that they, they call it awareness but that doesn't take into account that again that intelligence is behind it and that vast openness that emptiness is who you are but what the part that really blows your mind the part that really makes it amazing is when you look at all the living things in the world and you realize that every one of those has that same vast alive intelligent alertness to it every one of them has this inside them that's what makes them sentient beings and it's the same and that's what I mean by her that intelligence that awareness that's in every living thing out there It's so beautiful when you think about it. You're nothing, she's everything. You're the openness in this body, but she's the openness in everything. You are built completely of her, but you're not her, if that makes sense. You're a, a location in her vast openness. really the same thing. So push your thoughts away and find what is there. Or go out in nature and listen.